Today, I'm back with another Mega Collection video for you all. Today, I'm going to be showing off my entire DCEU physical media collection that includes 4Ks, Blu-rays, slipcovers, books, collector's editions, box sets, you name it, I'm going to show it off right now. Now, I'm not going to include the classic DC movies like classic Batman Anthology and Superman movies, the Dark Knight trilogy, the DC animated movies. No, no, this is just going to be the core DCEU. That other collection video will be for another day, but I'm just going to go through each of the titles and say a little bit about each of the films and how I feel about them. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with a Blu-ray slipcover here. We're going to have Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Now, I think I like this movie more than most, but it's definitely not perfect. It does have a lot of flaws in there. It gets way too over convoluted, adding in Doomsday and Wonder Woman and, you know, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I don't think it's perfect casting. So yeah, definitely some issues with this movie, but there's some good elements too. I really like uh, Ben Affleck as Batman in here. Really awesome Batman action sequences. I mean, that warehouse sequence totally feels like an Arkham video game. Really, really cool stuff there. So I think if they focus just on Batman fighting Superman, I think that would have worked a lot better for a core story here. But yeah, once again, they just try to do too much with this movie, try to set up too much here with that Dawn of Justice stuff. To me, that part doesn't work. But the Ultimate Edition Extended Cut, I do think is a good improvement over the theatrical edition, but still doesn't make the movie perfect. There's still those obvious flaws there. But yeah, the slipcover is pretty cool with this one. I do like this one. Next, speaking of uh, Blu-ray slipcovers, we're going to have uh, Wonder Woman here. I actually like this movie quite a bit. I know most uh, DC fans do enjoy this one, how they're able to combine Wonder Woman with a World War uh setting i think it works perfectly i think they blend those two together really nicely i think the amazonians look great in this movie how they show off all their fighting style and i think gal gadot as a wonder woman is pretty decent casting now is it perfect is she the best actress in the world no, I wouldn't say that, but I think she has improved over time. But I do really like the Wonder Woman costume here. So I do like most of this movie, except for kind of the final third act with the fight with Ares. It does get a little too uh, CGI, uh, you know, battle for me. Don't love that part. Uh, but the rest of this movie, I think, is really, really good. Uh, Chris Pine in here, uh, I think, is a good uh, addition to the movie. Good chemistry with uh, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. So I think this movie is overall pretty solid. One of DC's better movies. So I like having this one in the collection. All right, next, we're going to have Aquaman 4K still book. I really like the way this still book actually looks. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, kind of cartoony look to it, but I think it looks cool with all the water's kind of flowing right there. So I do like this still book quite a bit. And I really like this movie actually. This movie I think is really, really cool. I think this movie is one of the better DC movies. I know when I saw it in theaters for the first time, I was actually blown away by it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this movie is absolutely amazing. Uh, what James Wan was able to do uh, with this character, with a character that, you know, some people thought was kind of a joke character for the longest time, how he was able to show him in this, you know, live action movie form. Uh, just was so great. You know, Aquaman, uh, fantastic uh, in here. You know, Jason uh, Momoa playing the character, I think did a really, really good job. Just fit the character perfectly. I think Black Manta was really cool in this movie too. Even though we only got kind of a small part with uh, Black Manta, can't wait to see the sequel to see more of a part of Black Manta might play. But overall, a very entertaining movie. I think it looked great, especially the underwater sequences with all the creatures. Uh, yeah, some parts do get a little bit more silly with like the octopus playing the drums, but you know what? I thought that was all in good fun. So really good time with this movie. I do think this movie is underappreciated. I think it is one of DC's better movies. Is it as good, you know, on a second, third time watch? Uh, no, not as good as my first time watch, but it's still a solid movie. I really do enjoy this one. So Aquaman, happy to have it. 4K still book, really cool still book. 
And let's just take a look at the inside real quick because I forgot, you know, how the inside looks on this one with the disc. Let's see if it's anything uh, special here. Ooh, I actually do like that. That looks pretty cool. Just to show it real quick and we'll move on. Yeah, you got the Aquaman, uh, you know, kind of that setting of Atlantis in the background. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the discs are kind of simple, but I do like the aqua colors. Uh, and you got the Trident on there. So, yeah, this could have been improved, but the inside um, artwork is... Uh, okay enough so yeah overall a decent little still book and yeah it's 4k so the 4k does really really look good on it and it sounds absolutely fantastic so yeah just a good movie overall aquaman yes all right next let's get into Ooh, okay, yeah, this is a recent one. We got the Batman Steelbook, yes, the 4K right here. I do like this artwork with the question mark, you know, uh, that's pretty cool with the rain and, you know, just having Batman's cow there. I do like that, it's kind of simple, but then it's also really artistic as well. So I think that's pretty cool. And actually I do have a full unboxing and review of this movie on the channel. I'll definitely link that video in the description below. It's one of my more popular unboxings. So after this video is over, definitely click on that one and check it out to see, you know, everything on the inside and, you know, my thoughts on the 4K quality and special features with this one. Because I'm telling you, physical media wise, they did a great job on this one. But yeah, uh, overall, I do like the movie. Do I love the movie? No, I don't. I know a lot of people love this one. They're like, oh, this is the definitive Batman movie. To me, it did have some flaws in it. I wasn't a big fan of the Bruce uh, Wayne uh, portrayal uh, in here. I, I felt it was just kind of a little too like, okay, you know what? I want to see the suave side of Bruce Wayne so it's differentiated from Batman. So it's like they're two different um, people you would never suspect that person of being Batman. So I felt like that was a missed opportunity in this movie. Hopefully they improve on that in the sequel. Also, I do think this movie is way too dark with the lighting. Now, I do like having a lot of night scenes, obviously, because it is Batman, but this is like 90 something percent night scenes. I would have liked a little bit more of a balance out to show some day scenes with a Bruce Wayne character. That way, when it gets to night, you know, we know it's Batman mode. Let's go. Uh, so I would have liked a little bit more balance of that. But this movie has great things in it as well. Batmobile, absolutely fantastic. Great chase sequence there. So that's really cool. Um, you know, the Penguin uh, by Colin Farrell, totally unrecognizable in that character role. I think that is a, a decent enough villain there. So there's some cool things in here. And Robert Pattinson as Batman definitely is a really good, solid Batman. Don't know if it's my favorite Batman. You may want to check out my ranking of all the Batman actors. Uh, but yeah, pretty solid and uh, decent. So some good things here. A uh, couple flaws in it. But overall, I like having this one in the collection. Like I said, check out my unboxing video to see what I thought of uh, the still book and the 4K quality. All right, next we're going to have ooh, this movie. I know a lot of people don't like this is Birds of Prey, right? Uh, the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Way too long of a title. I think everybody can agree on that. That was, yeah, that title. I don't know what they're trying to do with that. I do like the still book, though. Uh, the still book looks really cool. I like the uh, the colors, the shine with it. Really, really cool. Let's actually, let's take a look at the back of this one. Okay, kind of simple. All right. Oh, a dartboard. Okay, yeah, pretty simple there. Uh, let's see the inside. Is there anything special on the inside? I don't remember the inside of this one. Oh, okay, so on the inside, uh, we do get uh, one of the hyenas right there. Uh, the discs are pretty simple. Uh, yeah, you know what? So DC could definitely improve uh, on uh, the disc. Definitely. Pretty simple on the disc. Uh, but overall, you know what? I like this movie more than most. Is it one of my favorites? No, definitely not. Uh, but I think it has some entertaining moments in it. I, I do like Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. I think she's a solid Harley Quinn. Uh, there's some cool sequences in here. Uh, where I think the miss opportunity is with this one was the villain uh, Black Mass. I don't know what it was with that villain, but the villain to me uh, I just wasn't working with the story they had going. Uh, and Black Mass is such a cool villain. Uh, I felt like they could have done Black Mass a little bit better. So... 
yeah. Uh, overall, once again, not one of my favorites. You know, it's not one I'm like, oh, I want to go see this one again right away uh, kind of movies. But you know what? It, it, it's decent enough, right? Uh, you got the, you know, the hyena in there. So, yeah, you got something. And I still think Margot Robbie, like I said, is a pretty decent uh, Harley Quinn. Uh, so, yeah, there's some OK things in here. There's some funny moments in it and, and stuff like that. So uh, it's all right. Still book school. I like the still book. So. All right. Next. Oh, yeah, this is a nice little collection here. So let's be careful with this one. We have the Justice League. Yeah, but Zack Snyder's Justice League trilogy. We got three movies there. Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Ultimate Edition, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. All three on 4K. Also get the Blu-rays in here of all of them. So, you know, the, the Blu-ray I have of Batman v Superman over there, I can kind of uh, retire. Uh, but yeah, I like the way this looks on the shelf. Nice big spine, can find the movies easily. And I just, yeah, this is a good collection of movies right here. And I did a full unboxing of this one on the channel. I'll link that video in the description too, if you really want to see the inside of it, because it was pretty cool. Really good physical media edition. Uh, but I really like uh, Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League movie. Definitely think it's an improvement over the theatrical version. Now, is it perfect? No, I do think they do get a little too long with the movie. You know, four hours uh, for that kind of superhero movie is a little bit too much. They do kind of add a lot in uh, towards the end that I think maybe they could have left out. Uh, you know, if this movie was like three hours, three hours, 15, maybe, uh, I think it would have been a lot more solid, but still really, really good. A lot of the characters do get some good upgrades in Snyder's version, like Cyborg. They do justice to Flash. They uh, do justice to. So, yeah, there's definitely some cool things in there. Uh, in terms of Man of Steel, I got to talk about Man of Steel real quick. Man of Steel, really, really good movie. I don't know how people don't appreciate Man of Steel. I think it's very uh, undervalued. I think it's one of the best origin superhero stories, uh, especially from like DC side. It might be like the best uh, DC origin story. Man of Steel, really, really good movie. I like what they do with Zod in it. I think it's great. And I, I don't know why people don't like that one. They complain about like the destruction at the end of the city. I mean, come on. He was just Superman for a day. Give him a break. He's still learning. Uh, but I do like uh, Man of Steel quite a bit. Uh, already talked about Batman vs. Superman, but it's great to have it on 4K. So this is a really, really good uh, box set if you can still get this one. You get the whole uh, Snyder's uh, trilogy of movies. So really, really nice. And yeah, I don't think we'll we'll ever see another Snyder DC movie, at least not in the near future. I don't think they're going to go in that direction. But I think there was a cool vision here. And, you know, I would have liked to see it kind of played out, see what they do with the rest of it. But hey, this is what we get. So I'm at least happy we got to see Snyder's version of Justice League. At least we got that you know, us fans uh, rooting for it to it be released. So, you know, it worked out okay. That was really cool. All right. So there we go. Snyder's Trilogy on 4K. Such a nice uh, box set. All right. Next, we have ooh, one of my favorite movies of all time. We are going to have The Joker right here, Joaquin Phoenix, 4K still book. I do like the still book. Simple enough, but I like it. Yep, nice spine, do like that. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see on the inside, anything special on the inside of this one? Yeah, with the still books, I just feel like I gotta open them up real quick because you know I am a still book fan. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a Joker image right there. But once again, the discs are simple, DC. We gotta do better on uh, the disc, definitely. Uh, but I really like this movie. Big, big fan of Joker. I think this movie is so good. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Not just one of my favorite superhero movies or favorite DC movie. I just think it works really good as a movie itself. Um, the drama tale it tells, uh, you know, using the Joker character. Uh, really good performance by Joaquin Phoenix. You even get Robert De Niro in there. Uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's a good, solid story. It's a very heart-wrenching story, um, talks about societal issues, and I just think it's 
told in in such a you know intriguing way the music is excellent the score here uh, for this movie it's just so haunting so this is the movie after i watched it i'm like wow this movie is sticking with me i'm thinking about this movie more and more and movies are supposed to do that, you know, intrigue us, get us asking questions, you know, contemplating things in the world. And this movie does it in an entertaining um, way. But yeah, I mean, to see this character just go through a, a downward spiral to become the Joker, it's just so, uh, so, I don't know what's the word, gripping, a very gripping. And even on the back, right, it says a masterpiece. And I don't usually throw a word around that word a whole lot but when I think a masterpiece in film right uh, this would be mo a movie that does come up for me just because once again one of my favorite movies of all time so really like Joker the 4k is great because it looks and sounds amazing so yep really happy to have this one in the collection very excited for the sequel when we get Joker 2 I hear that one's going to be really interesting do something different give us some musical numbers in there uh, so I'm excited to see it. I'm all ready for a uh, Joker 2. Let, let, let's get that one already. I want to check that one out. All right. Next we have, let's see, another slip cover. 4K slip cover of Justice League. This is the theatrical version here. So I do have, like I said, the Snyder uh, version in the trilogy over there. But before that came out, I did pick up the 4K slip of Justice League. And this movie, um, you know, as it was, I thought was all right. I know some people hated and despised the movie. It wasn't that for me, but was it really good? No, it wasn't that either. It's just kind of in the middle. I thought there were some cool elements in there. Like I said, I, I could see kind of where Snyder wanted to go with it. But then, of course, when you bring in another director, you're going to get two clashing visions. And, you know, obviously the visions aren't going to blend together the best because, you know, two different people, two different visions, there's going to be some clashing there. Um, and obviously it's going to kind of turn into a Frankenstein of a movie, sort of, uh, with different things filling out of place. Like, hey, why does it go that direction? Why does it do that with that character? Wish I got more of that character. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely a messy movie. Uh, but if you look past the messiness, I still think the theatrical edition is all right. Once again, Snyder's version, big improvement. So, yeah. Hey, what are you going to do? But if you want to watch a short version of the movie, you know what? You don't got four hours. You know, maybe you want to put this one in still. I, I don't know. Uh, but still happy to have it in the collection because get to preserve the film history, right? Want to have all these uh, superhero movies. Now to get into our next movie in the pile, and we have Shazam on 4K. Look at this still book. You got the Shazam symbol. That is so cool. I do like this still book. You know, nice spine right there. Let's open up on the inside. And you know what? I was really pleasantly surprised with this movie. I have a good time with this one. Uh, let's take a look real quick at the inside. Oh, yes, we got the disc with the Shazam symbol. Yep, those are improvement on some DC discs. Then we got Zachary Levi, you know, a Shazam. Good casting there. But overall, a very good, entertaining, solid, like, family DC movie. You know, it's not as dark as, you know, say, a Snyder's uh, DC movies. It's a little bit lighter than that, even though there are some dark moments in it, you know, some intense moments like the boardroom scene that does get pretty terrifying. Um, overall, it's just a good, solid uh, family movie, uh, a story about family. So I think it really works well. I like how they use all the Shazam lore with the Shazam wizard, uh, all the Shazam family of characters, really fun moments in here. This movie just knows how to have a good time. And I just really like this one. Was so pleasantly surprised by it. One of DC's uh, better movies, in my opinion. 4K looks great. Sounds great. So excited to see the next Shazam movie. I thought the trailer looked like a lot of fun. So it looks like they're keeping in the same tone with that next sequel. So I'm ready for it. I'm ready to see it. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed. But who knows with uh, DC at this point. But yeah, Shazam. Really great movie to have in the collection. Very easy watching movie. 
All right, next we have, you know, the original Suicide Squad here. This is the extended cut. Uh, I do think the extended cut is a slight improvement here. Now, I know some people despise this movie. I can have a decent enough time with this movie, even though there are some things as you watch the movie, you do kind of scratch your head on and you're like, mm, we could have done that better. We could have done that better from, you know, a uh, decision point of view of how to set up the scene. And yeah, it does kind of get generic at some points with like, okay, the story plot, you know, it's like generic story uh, again. Oh, uh, yeah, big CGI monster fight at the end, right? All the movie uh, superhero cliches and all of that. Yeah, that does come through in this movie, but I do like the Suicide Squad characters. I think they all have different unique personalities. I thought uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn was great, um, you know, and, and this is a good cast right here. Uh, Will Smith, uh, I think, did a solid job as Deadshot in there, and just the rest of the Suicide Squad cast, I think, did a pretty decent job. I mean, Viola Davis as Amanda Waller, really, really good. Amanda Waller just fit the character perfectly. Um, yeah, you don't get much uh, Jared Leto uh, Joker in there. So, yeah, that was kind of uh, weird. Uh, but, yeah, extended cut, you do see a little bit more. But overall, I think it's a decent little fun movie, but it is kind of lower tier for DC, I would say. So I can still have a good time with it, but you have to know what you're going into. Go into it thinking it's going to be like a, a music video kind of movie. And hey, you might enjoy some of the music they play and how it's edited together. But you got to go in thinking uh, that kind of vision of a movie. Because yeah, just how they put together this movie. You can tell that. Yeah, it's uh, once again, you know, some missed opportunities with this one. But, you know, there's some good things in here as well. So overall, I can have a good time with it. But. Yeah, I can also acknowledge it might be lower tier uh, DC. But then we did get a really good Suicide Squad movie with the Suicide Squad by James Gunn. And while this still book is one of my best still books in the collection, I like how they put all the icons, um, you know, all those uh, Suicide Squad uh, characters, the names, right, the helmets. Oh, it looks so cool. It's like kind of like a scavenger hunt looking at that front cover. Really like that. Really, really cool. Oh, let's take a look at the back. Oh, the back. Decent, decent. But overall, you know, I had a fun time with this movie. I do think it's an improvement over the uh, original uh, Suicide Squad movie. I do think James Gunn uh, does a better job uh, with the characters in here. And it's still very unexpected. You know, you don't know what's going to happen to each of the characters. Who's going to be safe. Uh, yeah, you just get a scene from uh, the movie right there. I guess that's what DC likes to do. You got the disc right there. Uh, kind of simple on the disc. Uh, yeah, so the inside definitely can be improved with uh, DC's uh, still books. Absolutely. Uh, but overall, good, solid, fun, entertaining movie shocking moments definitely some gory over the top moments of course because it's the suicide squad right and uh, you know the kind of missions are going on not everybody is going to make it out safe but it's still a very entertaining movie you got good action elements here good comedic elements uh good acting talent in here surprises right fun moments shocking moments so yeah the suicide squad i do really like this one uh, I have to watch this one again. So good. Now that I think about it, I do really like this one. All right, next we have, oh, so we had Blu-ray Wonder Woman, but we needed to get Wonder Woman on 4K because I want all my superhero movies on 4K because the 4K does definitely improve the visuals and audio. And I really like this still book and I got it for pretty cheap, but it, it just looked cool. I really like the still book kind of has that cartoony uh, quality to the still book like the Aquaman had. Uh, but I still like, I like the colors a lot. The colors are really, really cool. It's kind of like a, what, like a sunrise colors? Oh, the back looks so cool with the Amazonians. Oh, just a great looking still book. You know what? I don't often double dip, but for a superhero title like this to upgrade to the 4K quality, I, I double dipped on this one. But I am totally happy with that. Really, really cool still book. And once again, very good, solid movie. Uh, one of DC's better movies, so really like this one. 
Happy to have that one in the collection. All right, next. Well, if we have the first Wonder Woman movie, you know, I got to have this one. Wonder Woman 80, uh, 84. Yes. Wonder Woman 1984 here. Now, I know some people hate this movie. Absolutely hate this movie. I don't get that. Now, is it perfect? No. Are there some flaws? Sure. Absolutely. I totally get it. Yeah, there's some, some plot holes there. Yep, I understand all that. But I do like... Uh, just how this movie looks being in the 80s time period, because I really like 80s movies. I think that's done well enough. It captures the 80s feel to me. So I think that works. And I do think there's a heartfelt story here. Um, you know, so there's some good moments in here. And this movie does look really good, too. I think when I first watched this movie, I was just kind of jaw dropped like, wow, this movie looks amazing especially how they uh show off you know the amazonian landscapes and all of that i think that looks all really cool uh but yeah once again some missteps here and there with the story and plot elements i get that uh, so it's a mixed bag of a movie definitely a mixed bag but i think i like this one more than most so uh yeah you know what the still looks really cool though i think we can all agree on that captures the 80s perfectly look at all those colors just kind of melting together Ooh, that spine you can find this movie easily on the shelf so there's some great things about this one uh, let's take a look at the back Ooh, that looks so cool. So you know what? They did a really good still book for this movie. I can tell you that. Let's take a look at the inside. Was the inside done okay? Let's take a look. Uh, so how DC once again likes to do the inside of their movies. You got a scene from the movie, right? Uh, the discs. Uh, discs are okay. Nothing special there once again. Uh, but overall, the outside of the still book looked great. Really, really nice. So I'm happy to have this movie in the collection. I haven't seen it in a while. You know, is it, like I said, it's not one of, you know, a top tier a DC movie or anything like that. But I do think it gets too much hate. I don't think it should be hated as much. <laughs> There's some good things in it. There's some good things there. Uh, so yeah, Wonder Woman 84. Happy to have that one in the collection because I need I need all these movies all these superhero movies 4k uh and in a cool you know kind of collector uh still book or collector box set uh but that will do it for all my DCEU movies that's my entire collection and leave in the comments below what'd you think of the DCEU movies in my collection what were some of your favorite still books I showed off today also are there any still books I missed out on that I need to add to my collection also what do you think of DCEU's upcoming movies let's have those movie discussions down below and if you're just discovering the channel for the very first time and you love collecting physical media and being part of this amazing mega fan community, make sure you subscribe right now to stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. This guy's probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets he's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells, he's never fought us. Not us united. And if you like this physical media topic video, click another video to see more. Also, like the video, and this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day.